Hello everybody, Dave Isaacs here, coming to you from the Guitar Studio on Music Row in Nashville, Tennessee. Today, another short rhythm guitar lesson, and this one is about what I'm going to call the subdivided strum. We've been subdividing strums already when we play patterns in eighth notes like this. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and... Because we're taking our 4-4 four, four pulse, one, two, three four and cutting that in two. One and two and three and four and. So what we're going to do today is subdivide further into sixteenth notes. So for each count there are going to be four subdivisions. So taking the tempo down just a little bit. Da 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 Mechanically it works just like the other strums we've been doing it does rely a little bit more on a forearm rotation because using the whole arm to do this is awkward and it doesn't sound good but nice and light like this it's worth your while to practice seeing how lightly you can play how quiet you can be sometimes using the arm more helps this way speed up, the rotation gets easier. But the idea is to develop the ability to just brush so lightly that you barely hear the chord. It just has a textural and a percussive effect because you still have the sound of pick hitting strings. So with that light wrist rotation, that light touch, here is a 16th note subdivision of a beat. One, two, three, four. One and a two. Right now I'm accenting the quarter note. One E and a two E and a three E and a four. Now, I don't have to strike every sixteenth note. I might do this. One and a two and a three and a four. That's something you hear a lot. Or even syncopated. One E and a two E and a three E and a four. And a lot of strums that you hear will combine those. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and two and three and three and a four. Now at that tempo, notice that I slipped into counting one, two, three, four, counting in double time, because that is what it starts to feel like at this tempo when we speed up. the natural count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's take a look at this drum. One and two and a three e and a four. One and two and a three e and a four. One and a two and a three e and a four. Which is a combination of this and this. Two different subdivisions or two different groupings of those subdivided beats. Eighth, sixteenth, sixteenth, or sixteenth, sixteenth, eighth. One and a, or one E and a. So here, one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a. At the end of that cycle, it uses a syncopated. One E and a two. One E and a two. So now I'll combine all three of those. That was very specific. I was consciously using those forms in sequence. Now I'm just going to let it flow a little bit more. That example introduced another idea, which is that we don't always have to group those subdivided beats in twos and fours. 
we can use polyrhythmic ideas combining different groupings, say twos and threes, fours and threes, something like this. Really what you're hearing is a group of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And that group of three is repeated four times, and since that doesn't quite fill out our four, four bar, we need two eighth notes to finish it up. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and. That's the way it would look in written music but it's probably easier to feel it one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, 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 one, two. Notice in terms of the pick strokes, I'm still just maintaining a constant down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And so with these groupings of three, we end up alternatively starting with a down stroke and starting with an up stroke. Down, up, 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 down, up. If you find that that bends your brain a little bit, just slow down and really focus on one, two, three, up, two, three, one, two, three, up, two, three, one, two, one, two. A little slower. Down, two, three, up, two, three, down, two. That right there is a polyrhythm. You're working threes against what you're used to feeling as twos or fours. And I'm gonna take this one step further and demonstrate another beat that might be familiar to you that also uses some of these same ideas. recognize that as a Bo Diddley beat or something like a New Orleans second line beat and if you were listening closely for this you might have noticed one two three one two three one two three four one two one two three four one two three one two three one two two one two three four one two three one two three one two three four one two one two three four one two three one two three one two three four one two one two three four Again, just combinations of those subdivisions of twos, threes, and fours. I'm going to close off with some improvising on this. Play with it yourself. See what you find. Hope you enjoyed this lesson, and I'll see you next time. I'm Dave Isaacs. Find me online at nashvilleguitarguru.com.